Here's my ESXi 5 host. All my VMs, guest VMs, are turned off. And you'll notice it's on build 469.512, which is a pretty vanilla build of ESXi 5. We're going to be going into command line, so I've gone to configuration, security profile, properties, and I'm going to start up the SSH services so that we can come in at command line and execute commands directly on the host. Here I've got PuTTY and I've got it set up so I can SSH straight in. I want to log on as the root user. Now you can see over on the right hand side there that we can uh, see what our build number is but if you did not know or you wanted to find out a VMware space minus V command will show you your build number so you can check it before and after the procedure. Now I'm going to want to put my updates in some storage so let's have a look at what storage is on this host with an ls minus l slash vfms slash volume. So there's only one on here your production boxes may have a lot more storage than this I've only got one local data store on here and I'm going to change directory into data store 1 and now that I'm in there I'm going to create a folder that I'm going to download the updates and patches into with a mkdir command. I'm simply going to call that folder update. Let's just make sure it's there. There it is. I'm now going to change directory into the update directory. Now, if you open up a web browser and go to the patch portal, you can dial in your ESXi 5 and it will give you all the latest updates. The last major update at uh, time of recording was update 1, so I'm going to put that one on first. If you right click the link and get its URL, simply paste it into Notepad and we're going to take the S out of the URL because the wget command that we're going to use will only work with HTTP or port 80 traffic in ESXi 5. Just minimize it out of the way. Now, to download, I'm going to use wget and then the URL that I've just copy pasted. So I'm just going to paste that straight in. And all being well, providing DNS is set up properly on my host, that will download update one into my current directory. Now, this obviously takes quite some time depending on your internet connection. So I've sped it up for the sake of the video. You'll notice the clock jump before it so often. Now, in addition to update 1, there was one more patch uh, on the list of updates that I've also copy and pasted the link in for. So I'm going to download that as well, and I'm going to do update 1 and the latest patch at the same time. So I'm going to paste in the URL for that as well. I've got that in exactly the same way, just by right-clicking the download link and copying the link address, and then taking the S out. Now that I've got both those updates downloaded, I'm going to put the host itself into maintenance mode with the command on the screen. And if you keep an eye in the VI client, you should see it'll change, its icon will change, so it's got a little sticky plaster across it, and it'll say maintenance mode. Now that I'm in maintenance mode, I can actually apply update 1. The command for doing so is ESXCLI space software space VIB space install space minus D space then the path to the update itself and hit return now this happens reasonably quickly but the first time you see it happened, this is what happened, so it doesn't tell you it's successful or anything. What you need to do is scroll up a little, and right near the top it will say the update completed successfully, but the system requires a reboot for the changes to be effective. So that's update 1 installed. I'm going to forge straight on and put the latest patch on as well. The command is exactly the same, but obviously the path will be different. So EXCLI, space software, space VIB, 
space install space minus D and then the path to the new patch and hit return and after a few seconds once again a load of text will scroll past and once again you need to just scroll up a little and there you can see it says message the update completed successfully but the system needs a reboot for the changes to be effective fair enough if it wants a reboot let's give it a reboot simply reboot then enter and hopefully after a couple of seconds we should start seeing some error messages as the horse goes down we've lost the VI client and we've lost the body session which you would expect and you can see I've left on the desktop there my ESX i5 horse you can see it booting and again for the purpose of the video I've sped this up that's my VI client back talking to my ESXi host I'm going to right click it and take it out of maintenance mode and now to tidy up I'm going to go in and delete the updates I've got configuration storage again I've only got one piece of storage here you might have multiple pieces of storage but wherever you created your uh, update directory simply right click browse data store locate your update directory and delete. Yeah. You will notice that the build number has now gone up dramatically, it's now 721882. And the last thing that remains is to power on my guest machines. And that's us back up and running and update. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petnetlive.com.